Okay, the camera cut off, so I'm just going to do this in the second part. Um, I'm going to connect this to the intro V. The intro V is connected to my car, as you see there. I'm going to come in and connect this to the intro V. I'm going to do the screws. And once that's connected to the computer, I am going to open up my downloader. I'm going to click on that downloader icon kind of see it I'm not sure if you guys can see it and once I'm in the download icon I'm gonna make sure the computer is reading the USB port that I'm using because I'm not using a serial port the downloader file is gonna look for a serial port but most laptops don't have serial ports and if you end up using a USB port you're gonna have to go to file and open up the comms setup and I'm gonna scroll down my menu and find because this is a Razor Shack brand cable it's gonna read it as Radio Shack uh, virtual serial port and it's gonna have like Radio Shack there. I'm gonna select that and click OK. So that's basically now gonna tell the computer that that's the port that's connected to the InterV device. And once you have that, you're gonna go back into File, open up Firmware, and you're gonna select the firmware that you want. You're just gonna find it. I'm gonna select. Uh, the latest version which is uh, version 6.02 slash um, sorry dash 6963.blf it's a BLF file just to let you know and once that firmware is open into the into the downloader it's gonna be open up into the conversation that the computers have with intervy and so it knows the target file now I'm gonna program firmware and once I program the firmware it's gonna go ahead and and do that whole thing and that's basically it and it's gonna take about a minute depending on how old your interv2 is and that's all you need to do to update your interv2 device um, I already updated this one this is my, the one that's in my car originally and that one is for a friend so I'm just doing this video I did an earlier video a few uh, about a year ago when I first bought my interv and I had no idea what I was doing and now I'm a little bit more confident in updating the firmware of these devices it um, they also made it easier to do the updates now. Um, Richard P from the uh, forums has been very helpful in um, assisting in updating the, the devices and also the downloader file has been modified so this whole uh, process is much smoother and easier and it's still doing it. It's gonna just take about a minute and there's also a little bar I don't know if you could see in the, in the um, video a little progress bar that shows you um, when the file is gonna be done and that's pretty much it. Um, the Intro V2 is a really great device for connecting an iPod or, or a similar device to your car. It also connects CD changers um, and different things to your car, USB. Um, however you want to play music, the Intro V2 will do it and it will do it well. And that's um, 